Well, looking outside today, definitely cloudier out there, and mm -hmm. it's only going to get cooler from here, unfortunately, throughout the week. Well, yeah, we have a cold front that will come through mm -hmm. tonight, so that will drop the temperatures back down in the 40s. And that rain comes up over that. So it's going to be kind of raw tomorrow morning with that rain breaking out. And then uh, Halloween's when it really gets interesting. We're going to have some gusty winds, falling temperatures, and the kids are really going to have to bundle up. Uh, it's going to be probably heading down toward 40 degrees while the kids are out there uh, Thursday evening. But we'll talk more on that in just a moment. Let's take a look at that forecast this evening. Right now, hanging around 60 degrees, we're expecting temperatures to back off to 59 at 7 o'clock and then 55 at 9 p.m. with cloudy skies, 52 at 11 p.m. So just a slow drop off in temperatures this evening, eventually down into the mid 40s tomorrow morning at 8 with 52 at noon. We'll see that rain get going probably about the middle of the morning around 9, 10 o'clock or so, and then a good chance of rain then for the remainder of the day. And tomorrow evening, even the possibility of some thunder thrown in 57 at 5 o'clock. A rainy Wednesday on the way and also a Halloween for us. A windy, wet and chilly trick or treat, as I mentioned. And here's your uh, scare cast forecast for the kids heading out Thursday night. Still some lingering showers in the area. The heavier rains will be gone by that time. But falling temperatures and gusty winds, we could be looking at winds gusting 30, 40 miles per hour. Temperatures heading down toward 40. And some of those spotty showers on the tail end uh, Thursday night might even change over to some snow before ending. And we're expecting temperatures uh, down to freezing conditions for low temperatures Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday morning has the potential for being down around uh, freezing. So our growing season quickly coming to an end at the end of the week. Uh, Halloween history, actually in the last five years, we've had some 40s for the kids out there trick-or-treating, although last year pretty good, 62, although some rain around during the day, and also 60 back in 2016. Low temperatures tonight, mid-40s in our area as that cooler air starts to filter back in from the north, and then the rain rides up over it, a slow rise in temperatures tomorrow. We'll probably see roughly a, a 10 degree spread in temperatures north to south over the Miami Valley, maybe only around 50 degrees in the northern part of Mercer County uh, to readings as warm as the low 60s uh, down toward Clinton County as we'll have that front uh, sprawled out northwest to south uh, northwest uh, or northeast to southwest across the region. High temperatures on Thursday, a little deceptive. This will actually be a morning high around 60 and then the cold air comes rushing in and falling temperatures and you can see the high in Chicago 35, 34 Springfield, Illinois and it's some of that cold air that moves in later in the day. Cloudy skies on the Troy Stouter Center camera, although there were a couple of peaks of blue sky, but not for long out there. And we're still looking at dry conditions this evening over the Miami Valley. Cloudy skies, here's that front drifting in from the northwest, but already uh, the rain is gathering southwest of us in the southern plains, and that'll ride northeast along that front and bringing us some wet conditions for Wednesday. Right now in Dayton 60, we have a south wind 8 miles per hour, 69% the relative humidity, and temperatures range from the upper 50s north, 57 Bell Fountain, 59 Wapakoneta, 57 7 Richmond to mostly low 60s, although still some 50s southeast of us too. Cloudy skies tonight, not much in the way of rain chances, but that changes tomorrow. You can see that water starting to move in tomorrow morning, even in the uh, morning hours, some showers spreading into the region and then some rain around in the afternoon, tomorrow night and right on into Thursday. As a matter of fact, Thursday morning, uh, we could be looking at some pretty heavy rain and there's the snow west of us and we could be clipped by the tail end of that Thursday night, but no accumulation expected at this point. Cloudy skies, chilly tonight. We drop down to 45. Southwest winds turn to the north northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cloudy, cool, rainy day coming up tomorrow. 57 the high. We'll see the rain more on than off through the day. 49 at 10, 52 at noon, and getting up into the mid to upper 50s by late day. Not much drop off tomorrow night, only about 52. And then 60 with rain on Thursday. And then the wind picking up in the afternoon with the falling temperatures. Morning lows Friday, Saturday around 30, could even slip to the upper 20s Sunday morning. At least it looks like it will be dry at the end of the week with highs in the 40s and then getting back into the 50s early next week on Monday and Tuesday. Mm.